Hey y'all, Bill Cork with the Defensive Training Group and Big Daddy Unlimited, here today to talk about Range Bag Essentials. As a teacher, being out on the range day in and day out, one of the things that I frequently see are students coming out and they're not sure what they should bring, or a lot of times they bring too much. So we're going to talk about my range bag setup and the things that I think are essential for you to have when you go out for a day of shooting, whether it's a class or practice or whatever the case may be. So to start out, this is my range bag. This is a Vertex Range A, and it's the older model. Uh, very, very good bag, nicely sized. They make a Range B that's slightly smaller, but this takes care of all the stuff that I need, and I do have to carry a little bit more equipment because I am teaching. So let's break down what I've got in here and see how I've got it organized. So in the front, keep it where you can see it, you've got a zip panel here that folds down and folds out flat to give you a workspace, which is kind of nice. I have two pouches that I carry the magazines for my training pistols. So this one's got Glock mags, this has got Beretta mags. And I just always keep them in here that way I'm not having to unload my duty mags, my carry mags. I can just swap out and go to my training mags right away. I've got two drawers down here at the bottom. This one is where I keep my ammunition. So the very precious nine millimeter ammunition. And then on this side, I've got a bunch of spare magazine pouches, a couple of pistol pouches, for my CZ Scorpion and a shotgun shell caddy. So just different ammunition loading devices or carriage devices in case I need them for whatever the lesson that I'm doing might, might require. In these two zippered compartments up here, I've got spare batteries and whatnot for all the different things that I might need uh, for my RMR, for my Ear Pro, for my backup Ear Pro, just a bunch of different batteries. And then this is all my tools and whatnot. So in this one, I've got a screwdriver with a couple of different bits. I've got some hex wrenches, a specialized tool for AR-15 maintenance, staples. Staples are obviously very important. A multi-tool and a couple other little things that are just dropped down in here. So that takes care of the front portion here. Now in the center section, which folds open, there's zippers on both sides. Got a couple of different essentials. I have a towel, especially in Florida when we get hot and sweaty and whatnot, this is a good thing to have. I have an admin pouch that has pens, pencils, markers, that kind of stuff, business cards in the back and a couple of company patches that I can hand out. I have got just a little sandbag here. This is actually filled with some kind of rice or something, but when I'm zeroing my long guns, this gives me something that I can set down just to give me a bit better purchase. I have a shot timer, so we'll talk about shot timers for a second. One of the problems that I see, or one of the issues I see with a lot of people when they come out to practice, is they don't really have any kind of metric or way of measuring their performance. Are they getting better, are they getting worse, are they not improving, or is it just kind of staying static? Shot timer is a good piece of equipment to include in your range bag that will give you quantifiable metrics so that you can tell, is my performance improving, is it not doing anything, is it getting worse? I've got some three by five cards stuck in the back here. These are just good. They're field expedient targets in case I need something. Got some hand sanitizer, important these days. A Couple of spare plastic bags, some dummy rounds for training purposes. And then perhaps most importantly, I've got my IFAC, my individualized first aid kit. And so this does a couple of things for me. First of all, it is set up to allow me to treat a gunshot injury, some kind of traumatic injury. I've got combat gauze in here, I've got a compression bandage, I've got some chest seals, some different things, so if there is an injury, God forbid, I have the ability to do something while I'm waiting for EMS to respond. Most importantly, on top here, easily accessible, I've got a tourniquet. This also serves as my boo-boo kit, so I've got a bunch of different things in here, band-aids, nearest forum, some tape, uh, 4x4, gauze pads, just stuff like that in case someone gets a nick, gets a scratch, gets a bug bite, we can fix that with this as well. So don't neglect your med gear, make sure you're carrying good stuff and make sure you know how to use it as well. And finally in the back compartment, I've got my stapler, it's a little bit lighter, nice piece of kit, works really, really well though. I've got a very basic cleaning kit, 
Not a whole lot of fancy stuff. Again, just enough to allow me to do some field expedient maintenance if I need to. A cleaner, lubricant, toothbrush, bore brush, some patches, and some Q-tips. Nothing terribly fancy. You don't need all that out in the field. I've got sunscreen. This is important, again, especially if you're out in Florida because it does get hot and sunny, so make sure you've got your sunscreen. And then bug spray, same reason. Down in Florida, we get a lot of bugs, so make sure you've got the ability to handle them. And then I've got a big file here that's got all kinds of paperwork in it, but most uh, importantly, it's got my targets. So let's talk about targets just for a second. You can go out and get the big ones, uh, the poster size ones or intermediate size, whatever. But you don't have to go really, really large. A lot of the targets that I routinely use on a day-to-day -day basis are eight and a half by 11 standard sheets of paper that I can make photocopies of on my printer or uh, any copier. It's not a big deal. So this stays in the back here. Got a spare towel, a rag really. And uh, this is important if you're cleaning or whatnot, just having something like this that you can lay out on the table, uh, it does prove beneficial. So got a lot of gear stuffed in here, but it's everything that I need and nothing that I don't. A couple other things that I wanna to touch on. iPro, iPro is critical. Okay, you can use ordinary glasses, sunglasses, and prescription glasses. Be aware they don't give you as much protection as a wraparound set will be on the sides and whatnot. You have vulnerabilities on the sides here on flat lenses. So ideally you want something that is ballistic rated and that does wrap around and give you good side protection. A hat. This is something that a lot of people neglect and I make it a practice whenever I'm shooting, I always wear my hat because I have had, when I wasn't wearing a hat, brass come back and get down since there was no bill here to protect me between my eye pro and my eye. Our skin is pretty thick. You may get nicked and you know when you're out on the range and stuff happens and whatnot, but you only have two eyes. Protect your eyes. I cannot emphasize that enough. Second big thing is ear pro because we do see a lot of people go out and uh, they don't, they're not sure what to use. They don't use ear pro and then they end up not being able to hear later on in their years. Look at the decibel rating, the level of protection that it's gonna give you. Make a informed decision based on what you need. If you're shooting handguns, that's one thing. If you're shooting rifles, that may be something else because the noise is, uh, is greater with the long guns. So that's all the stuff that we carry, that I carry, and the things that I recommend you consider putting into your range bag. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, put them below, give us a like, give us a share, and y'all stay safe.